Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave. Thank you for stopping by Spectrum DIY. I wanted to show you something. I've let me move my face out of the way. Just like so. Shall move me down here. And I'm working, you guys actually before I do that, you guys have seen this VCO before. This was I've also unbolted. <laughs> this is going on the Halloween scent, right? So that's the that's the chip circuit board. And this fully functions. There's nothing wrong with it. I just took it apart because I wanted to convert this to a Eurorack module to fit in my Eurorack setup. It has control voltage, triangle, ramp, square, and pulse width control voltage. Pulse width modulation control voltage. So because of that, I wanted to convert it from a perf board slash strip board uh, which the original design that when I built that Halloween synthesizer was built around this the original CEM 3340 and I followed specifically if we scroll down here I followed this breadboard or strip board here on the right hand side and it's great i love it while i was you know messing around with some recent projects i decided why don't i convert it to a pcb right so i did i spent the better part of a, a whole nother night tinkering and converted it to a pcb before searching here in the forums and let me show you what i mean I, I search I scroll I'll scroll all the way down here somebody had already done the project and this was a year ago May May of last year there we go anyway so I didn't blind post but I had I did kind of blind design this thing I just designed it. I wanted to make the effort first then I searched to see if anyone on the discourse had also done the same thing they had theirs was different than mine I wanted to do my own I'd already done it so instead I posted like please be gentle so I, I posted this right and the first thing you'll see the it was pointed out to me that the resistor values had multiple uppercase and lowercase issues right so there was that my global labeling needed work and so I was like well what can I do how can I make this better all right so I said, look, I'm not asking for help, but I'm not close to it. I just wanted to add. I'm trying to contribute back. So then Analog Output, who's a regular on this forum, gave me a whole bullet list of things to do. And I was like, wow, this dude took the time to type this information, to give it to He didn't have to do that. He did not have to take that time. So I said, well, thank you. I really appreciate the effort. So I went back and I improved. I took off and did all uppercase for the resistors that needed it, the lower and uppercase, you know, basic cleanup. And I've managed to forget the 12 volt in the ground trying to fix all this up here. And there's some other missing things. If you'll note, the TLO 72s have only voltage now. There's not really, yeah, this is getting there, but it's not there yet. So I stacked the outputs. Somebody suggested that I should add some gain on the triangle and saw wave or ramps. So I did. They also mentioned power and all that good stuff. And I've just realized like, wow, I need to stop staying up all night. I even said something about that. And so I came back and improved with this. I added the power. I added decoupling capacitors. I added some filtering capacitors and also cleaned up some other things like these labels well today as upon making this video i went back and caustic who is a moderator of this forum was really helpful had already done a design which was this design i'm going to scroll up here blow this up and this is their design which includes hard sync it has an RC filter for the pulse out to clean up the pulse width and make it nice and square. They've added traces under the filter caps and uh, changed where the pulse out was routed, some other things. They also added the soft hard sync and frequency modulation, right? So cool. And with their help and some suggestions, 
I managed to get to this point here, which as of now, somebody was typing when I was recording. Personally, adding an octave selection. How about that? Somebody suggested an octave selection. I might do that at a later date. I'm not sure I want to keep on complicating my... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't look that hard. But anyway, so again, you know, I, I've, I'm doing what I can to improve the, the... Oh, my Lord. To improve this design. So let me direct your attention now to KiCad, where I have loaded up the wrong screen. One moment. There we go. Alrighty, so now that we're here, I was going to say, I know that this will do it. Alright, so loading up KiCad, one thing that I did add here was I added the filtering caps, I added decoupling capacitors, and decoupling capacitors and filter caps. I also added a filter on the square to clean that up as per Caustic's design. And here I've added the soft sink through the one nanofarad capacitor. I've added the hard sink through a one nanofarad capacitor. And I've also added the FM middle, the frequency modulation through the one meg through the pin 13, which from FM middle, it goes for pin 13 through one meg through 100 nanofarad capacitor, right through the FM middle. And then from FM middle, it comes down into the second, into the wiper of 100K pot, and then from frequency modulation to the tip of the frequency modulation input. And then the other side is grounded, of course. And then I've added the soft sink and hard sink jacks here. So now <laughs> we've got eight jack sockets and four knobs. This trim pot does go on the circuit board. It's not something that's normally visible. You could make it visible if you wanted to. You could have it, you know, have a little hole so you could access it to the front of the panel. But, I mean, it's up to you, really. It's, you know, you're going to play with it. So, anyway, so far, I've got the design looking good. I've also added the gain, as was suggested, on the ramp and triangle. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's coming along. The next step is going to be I'm going to have to convert this into a rat's nest lay out the PCB and rat's nest make sure all the traces are correct and nothing's wonky or weird and as long as everything looks good I should be able to etch this myself or I may send off for it I'm not sure yet but I did want to share that and you know let you guys see what I was working on I didn't really want to make a super long video but I did want to share what I had going on. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. And yeah, I will see you next time. So cheers.